Yeah, hello. Midweek 4 is out, currently in beta version 3. So take this video with a little bit of carefulness as well, uh, depending on the time you watch it. Things might have changed uh, in a final Bitweek 4 version, or also my implementation might have changed because of this. But I wanted to give you a little bit of preview what is possible in the future. I will also put a link in the thread on the KVR forum where you can download this preview version. So it will not be linked on my homepage and it will not be linked here in this YouTube video because it's pretty sure that it will be outdated pretty soon and the final version will be released so you can get that then. But for the people who are curious how this works, you can get this version which gives you now those new features for the push one and push two. So what are these new features? Uh, we have now the possibility, if you look here at the notes, we have now these new operators. First let me get you a little bit of overview what you can do with it. So it gives you randomness and other options as well. For example, you can say you want to have this randomized here, you can turn this on and off and you want to have this randomized 100% sensor blade all the time or only play it with a specific percentage of probability which you can change then you can say I all these options can be turned on and off I want to have here some ratcheting which means you repeat this node multiple times you can go up to a very crazy number 128 and also go down then the difference is that it's not the repeats it's then in intervals which is yeah works pretty identical and here you can also so say then for that we should look at the um, here we are so that's how it works you have these different ratchets and then you have a start velocity and you have an end velocity and that one here is the end velocity and you can also change a curve here if you press your alternate key you can make this happen in a specific velocity curve as well. Then you can say you want to have this happening always in the first cycle. In the second one, what is especially interesting is if you create some kind of fill, you need to enable here that fill button to make this happen. This can also be accessed via the API, but I did not uh, integrate it yet. We will also see that in the future. What is that all about? So the idea is what you can do, for example, with a drum groove, you can have a crash simple crash but only on the fourth run for example and you can have a break only when you press a break key and so on finally these are the number of cycles which can be up to eight so you can say for example you want to have here a crash symbol where is the crash here is a simple crash only on the eighth run so you say here i want to have or let's go with four and it should only play on the first one so let's have a look at that so and there was a crash on a that's so you also see where it moves here okay and so these all these options can now be controlled here on the push as well so let's have a look at this drum track first so you need to go into edit mode if you long press the note so we are now here in edit mode and you have now much more options here the first thing is what you already know so the length of the node uh, velocity this is also new velocity spread so you can have an area of probability area how the velocity change so it can have a kind of variation so if you turn it up you see that happening here on the screen as well you get this kind of fog area which is then the area where the velocity lies depending on its probability the release velocity which is also already was there before and then we have now here this new option so the probability the chance can be changed so it's only happening once or twice depending on the probability and these are the on and off toggles we had here in the start of this operator so we can switch them on and off as well here you have the occurrence always that was this uh, drop down menu here and you have this recurrence pattern for that node okay and you can also change the recurrence pattern so if you say we want six now you can go to the recurrence pattern and here you see we have currently enabled six if we go to eight you will see everything and you can 
could also turn it down and here you can say you want to enable for example the first the third and the fourth round where you go and you should let's enable that you should see that here then as well you can go back here then to note and there are also the expressions these were the expressions who have been there before and here the repeat settings are then for the ratcheting so you could go down here back you can also reset it so with delete and touching it and then you can say i want to repeat it four times or five let's listen to that yeah And you can also adjust this this curve uh, where the ratchetings move. So you have more ratchetings at the end if you turn it up. You could also turn that up. And you can adjust this velocity curve as well. And you can change here the velocity end. So you have access to all the parameters. Okay, so that's how it works on the push 2. Uh, this works in, in all the sequences, so not only in a drum sequencer, also in uh, the other sequence, or maybe let's go here to the polysynth, and here we have that as well. So here you, so we could also go here to the second page where this is longer note, and here we could also say we want to have here a bit of ratcheting with this note happening. So whatever, let's turn it up. Oh, that's funny. Cool sound. <laughs> okay, so you see, creative ideas with that one and new crazy sounds as well. And you can do the same with the push one, which has now also these features. So we can also go here into the sequencer, for example, and there we can also long press. And here you have exactly the same options as we saw before. The only exception that you don't have a text for the this menu changing. So here you go again here to the expressions and here you go here to the repeat count so you don't have explanation text for these three menus but that's basically the only difference rest is the same parameters at the same thing so same possibilities for the push one as with the push two okay i hope you dig it and make some funky music <laughs>